Remember her, her, and her? What do all of them have in common? If you guess they all played witches on television, then you're right. This week I'll be doing a brief intro video on Wicca. Witchcraft stretches back thousands of years, but the modern form of Wicca that is widely practiced by many today was primarily founded by a man named Gerald Gardner. Gardner was an associate of Aleister Crowley, who was at one time the leader of the occult religion known as Thelema. In his work, The Book of the Law, Crowley stated, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Gardner tweak the creed just slightly with the phrase, and it harm none, do what ye will. Today, this is part of the reed that many Wiccans adhere to. Many of you may be surprised to learn that Wicca is as popular as it is. Because of its secretive nature and the lingering suspicion about witches, determining the exact number of Wiccans is difficult. Still, most scholarly sources agree that today Wicca is one of the fastest growing religions in the United States and many other Western countries. Wicca takes various shapes and forms, so I'll be generalizing a bit for brevity purposes. Drawing from their own literature, there is a common core of beliefs that many Wiccans share in common. In Wiccan theology, honor is placed upon the god and the goddess, and upon nature. Wicca can be polytheistic, pantheistic, or both, depending upon the tradition. Most Wiccans practice magic in a coven. A coven is a group of witches who practice their religion together. Witches who do not join a coven are generally known as solitary witches. Wiccans can practice ritual in plain clothes or robes, depending on the rules of the coven. But practicing skyclad is also common. Yeah, yeah, you guessed it right, buck naked. Skyclad literally means clothed by the sky. To work skyclad means to work naked. Within a coven, the high priest and the high priestess are the physical manifestations of the god and the goddess in human form on earth, and they normally lead the ritual. In most covens, new Wiccans are required to go through an initiatory period before they can become full Wiccans. In some traditions, the rites of passage consist of three degrees, and the normal period of training is a year and a day. Remember our three famous TV witches, Samantha Summers from Bewitched, Sabrina Sabrina Spellman from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Bonnie Bennett from The Vampire Diaries? All of them are hereditary or famtrad witches. Hereditary witches inherit the craft from older relatives who pass on the traditions to younger members of the family. Witches look very normal. You are far more likely to meet a witch who looks like this than a witch who looks like this. I mean this. Wait, was that the same photo? Never mind. Wiccans can get annoyed if someone accuses them of worshipping Satan. Satanism is a separate religion altogether. Although some Satanists also claim to be witches, Satanism is not Wicca, and the Satanic religion itself also has many forms and traditions. As a Christian, I hope any Wiccans who have watched this video can see that I have tried to represent your religion as fairly and accurately as possible. I want you to realize that Christians like myself love you, and we hope and pray that the Spirit of God will work in your heart, and you will turn to Christ for salvation. I hope that this brief presentation can serve as a means to open up dialogue and communication in a healthy fashion between the abyss that divides our community. If you are a Christian like me and desire to bring the gospel to Wiccans, I recommend studying their worldview from their perspective so that you do not unfairly misrepresent them. Two books you will find helpful are Wicca for Beginners by Thea Sabin and Witchcraft Today by Gerald Gardner. If you're new and find my videos useful, subscribe to my channel and comment. I upload a new video every Saturday. Until then, God's blessings on your week.